<laughs> My first guest has appeared in films like Snake Eyes and Spy Kids. She wasn't in Snake Eyes and Spy Kids, but films like them. <laughs> she was also in Chicago Hope, where she plays a scientist trying to save humanity from invading aliens in the new CBS drama uh, Threshold. That's Threshold, that's it, isn't it? Yeah, and it's on tomorrow, tomorrow night at 9 o'clock. Take a look. Whoa! Please welcome Carla Gugino, everybody. Good, do I way. smell good? Yeah, you thank do. you very much. Mm -hmm. You smell delightful. Oh, why, thank you. Well, you do. You smell piney fresh, but not in a toilet way. <laughs> I've, been, I've been shooting all day till the moment I got here, so I, I don't know what that is. I mean, it's the threshold set, I suppose. Well, that, that threshold thing looks fantastic. Fantastic. That's really scary. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. really scary. How can you put that on TV? Folks won't get to sleep. I know, I don't know. I mean, I, I keep being so surprised that we're getting to go as dark as we want to, and it's really scary and really complex and very cool. And, and you work all the time doing this kind of thing, don't you? Because it, it's, uh, it's like shooting a movie, but it just never stops. Totally. No, it's, it's uh, actually our camera operator said to me yesterday, he said, Working on a TV show is like alcoholism, one day at a time. Eh, well, that's true. <laughs> so I that's think that's what you have to do. That's certainly the way I handle it. Yeah. <laughs> how, uh, how, how, is it, how is it working with the aliens? Do you have aliens on the show, or is it all just CGI? Um, there's, there's, well, the, in our show, the... You don't have to, you don't have to pay any the, attention to the, that. <laughs> the uh, people are, um, their DNA is shifted, and they have been taken over in some way so they might look like you for example oh that's me. that sounds like a very inexpensive way to get aliens <laughs> on your yes i'm an alien ah, exactly i've been genetically engineered but you know they they acted a little better than that well yeah. <laughs> yes. i know <laughs> No, it is actually... Well, they'd weird. have to, or they'd stand out. You'd go, well, he's an alien, look at the way he's acting. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Although that could be one of the giveaway signs. Yes, yes. Or te Now, are you a sexy doctor in this? Um, I, or just sexy, I I just mean, plain I sexy, that's I, I do have a doctorate in it, right. Dr. Molly Caffrey. Um, it's weird, though, because actually on the show, very strange things have been happening, because there's an alien signal involved in the show. And, like you uh, mean when, when you're... When we're shooting, like right. just on set. Um, today, our director walked out and uh, he had a bloody nose, which he has never had before. Yes. And one of the telltale signs when you have heard the signal is that your nose starts to bleed. Or you're doing cocaine. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, that, that is another possibility. I'm going to have to investigate that. I'm just saying, you know, it, it, these, are, these are long hours, you know. <laughs> True. Okay, we're ready to shoot. Let's go, let's go. Aliens are coming. Oh, I think one's here. Uh, no. 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 no, no, no. I don't think so. I don't think so, but you never know. You know, it can happen. It can, it can happen. It can happen. It is show business after all. Yes, I know. I've heard it happens in show business mm -hmm. from time to time. Never to me, though. <laughs> what was the... Uh, have, you ever, have you ever had any alien encounters? Have you ever seen an alien? Uh, no, I haven't. I mean, it would be a much better story if I had, but I... I'm I, a resident alien. I have a green card. Exactly. Yeah. And, and I'm really comfortable with you. So yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I haven't had the first-hand experience, but I'm telling you, I mean, weird things are happening, and, you know, I, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if all of a sudden I have some strange extraterrestrial encounter now. What would you do? What would you do if, if aliens arrived and said, well, we've got a fabulous planet, get in our spaceship and uh, come back with us. Would you stay or go? I would have to check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Even if they said fabulous planet like that? <laughs> Especially if they said fabulous planet. Oh, we've got a fabulous like planet. You know, all the sofas are over here and all that. No. Yeah. I, you, I, are, you, I, are, you, are you always been interested? You? I don't know. I, I might have when I was younger. You know, I think I did a couple of times when I was younger. <laughs> But I, I think now I would stay. I like it here in California. Yeah, yeah. yeah the climate's the weather's, nice. Yeah, the good. weather's. Are you from See? here? You're from here, aren't you? Florida originally, Ooh. and then I lived in yeah, Sarasota, Florida. All right. Then I lived in Northern California, and then I've been between here and New York for a bunch of years. Oh really? Oh, but the, the, the so single clap. That, that was so. Was that was like... someone from from direct. <laughs> that was someone from Kansas, who's right right in between <laughs> New York and LA. Just I'm right in the middle. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> So do you like it better? What's, what's your preference? New York, L.A.? New York is, you know, it's the best city in the world. So it is, but yes. But L.A. is the best city to live in. We've got the mountains. We've got the mountains. The 
of water. What do you, know, what do, you do here? That do, are you an outdoorsy person? Do you go the surfing and uh, you know wine picking? Um, I d <laughs> I'm not a big surfer. I, I used to be a body surfer when I lived in La Jolla as a kid, and and I got crunched by one too many waves, and now I'm like terrified of the surf. I have to get over it. It's like you have to get back on the horse. I have to you know. Get back you don't on want the to wave. take a horse out surfing. Uh, yeah. No, <laughs> although it can be fun. Um, you, I, uh, I hike. I hike you in the hike. hills a lot, yeah. yeah. I like that. Do you, do you go hiking up to the Hollywood sign? Yeah. I do that. Yeah, it's a great hike, Isn't too. that good? Yeah. I actually went the other day with my little pup, though, who's, um, she's 10, she's 10 pounds, she's small, her name's Oh, Luna. you're an actress with a small dog. I've never but met no, one, I don't know. Let me just tell you, I know yeah. it's a cliche, I know it's a cliche, but she is a big dog in a small dog's body. Oh. I'm convinced, yes. Can, I'm not you, one of those actresses with a small dog. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. How can you tell she's a big dog in a small dog body? She, she doesn't yap. You know, yes. she, she's just very cool about things. She's like, I mean, there is this thing that happens, which is like you do something and then it becomes, you know, a trend. Like I, I got a tattoo when I was 17. Yeah. And then all of a sudden everyone's getting tattoos and now I can't get anymore because now it's just like a trendy thing to do, you know? Well, it'll soon pass. Now and, that you know. it, then I can start. Hey, you know. if you're ever looking for an investment though, mm -hmm. tattoo removal parlors, they're going to become yes, very popular in about they five are. or six years, I think. You say, thank God I only got yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but one's good. Um, just I don't one. have any. Yeah, no? No. Yeah. Is it the Scottish thing? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it is. No, I've, I've met Scotsmen with tattoos when I was in prison. Anyway, we're done. <laughs> Carla, it's lovely to meet you. That threshold Thank thing you. looks fantastic. Thank uh, you. Carla Gugino, everybody. We'll be right back with Alice Cooper. Hello. Hello. Carla Gugino, everybody. Carla Sensational! You must be going on to somewhere else after here. Thank you so much. Um, the premiere is actually tonight. In the middle of the night? Can you believe it? Wow! Because I know, I know. you know it's, it's like crazy. one o'clock in the morning. It's crazy. <laughs> look, um, fact, look everyone's gone to sleep in LA. <laughs> I'm just joking. With you. Uh, so with the premieres tonight? Um, no, it was. It's actually it was last night. Right, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah. Well, that's nice. <laughs> Hey, have you had a nice time on The Entourage? Ah, I love that show, The Entourage. I know, it's show, amazing. Yeah. I had, it was really one of the most fun television shows I've ever done in my life. Yeah. It was, um, I mean, the guys are so, there's something, I think what makes that show so great is the fact that they are all so laid back. Yeah, and, and they're all quite small as well. <laughs> they, 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 they aren't a very tall group of people. Well, men, that's although, good, I mean, because then... a lot of the, spirit. The, yeah. You know. Hello. To, yeah, to, and they... <laughs> hang on. I, uh... Is that what you call it? I am. Um, no, I like, I like, you know, because they go around. And, have they all got a little squeaky car they go around in, or is it? No, no, but they're, they're all like, they love each other. They love what they're doing. And it's so a you great come show. on. It's a really good and, show. Yeah, and it's a bunch of, it's a bunch of great guys. They have, Don't you miss CBS? You used to work at CBS. I and, did, and yeah. I love CBS. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes you have to move on. I yeah, I know. We miss you here. You we know, still, they... Bob Barker's still here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. Yeah. And you are. Yeah, which yeah. Is really oh, the best. yeah. Me and Bob. Woohoo. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, but the answer, I mean, it was weird because when I first, I was shooting a movie called Night at the Museum up in Vancouver. Oh, yeah. And, um, no, that was great. That was, was I meant to say to you. That was very, very funny. Thank yeah, you yeah. so much. And, and the totally dinosaur different. goes for a boat. Oh, uh, yeah. Like a little dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> um, but, uh... <laughs> I had to go down and do one scene before I did. The rest of my stuff was like a month and a half later. Right. And it was at the Lakers game. And I, I didn't even know who my character was yet. I hadn't ever. I, I knew Jeremy Piven before, and I knew Kevin Dillon, but otherwise it was a bunch of new people. I'm watching Kobe make baskets, and I'm trying to remember lines. And right. I literally was like, I, I was like, if, so if there was we, an actual game going on, and you were filming. Literally an actual game. We were in was the Jack front Nicholson row. Was Jack Nicholson there? Jack Nicholson was there. I bet you we, saw you. We were in, we were in, <laughs> we were in Joel Silver's <laughs> seats. Um, <laughs> He is very charming. Yeah, um, I bet. yeah. And, uh, <laughs> but I mean, the camera guys were there, and we kept having to. They um, every time a basket would be made, you know, we were in the scene, so we're supposed right. to be responding. But then when we had to do another take, as you know, we do. You do a second take, and you have to respond again, though they're not making a basket. So Kobe and the players are looking at us like. And you're going. Whoa! Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, and it was you know, it's a bad, bad. That's bad what story. happens to me. Uh, well, it used to happen to me. I'm kind of better now, but it used to happen to me at football games because I didn't know what was going on. Right. So I would just occasionally just stand up, and go yeah. Yeah, that's generally me with most sports. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like, that was a foul. How? What?
what did I miss? You know. Yeah. Listen, you know, you're Italian, right? Or, uh, have you ever been back to the uh, to the Oka? I go back as much as I possibly do you, can. I love it there. I what part do you so go to? Much. You know, Positano is the place where I went last time, which was one of the most beautiful. Say places. that again. Positano. Actually, hang on a second. Uh, <laughs> Just let me have this um, moment. This is for Daddy. <laughs> no, it's the best country in the world. I mean, yeah, it is. It's fantastic. When I went as Apart a kid, from America, obviously. Well, you know. I yeah, yeah. I, I'm, my last name is Gugino, so I think I can even say it's the best country. Yeah, you can say that Pusitano again if you my want. My father. <laughs> No, you know, when I went there as a kid and I said my name, they said, what's your name? And I said, Carla. And uh, I remember somebody said, Carla? Carla? And I was like, no, Carla, it's Italian, Carla Gugino. And they went, oh, Carla, Carla uh, Gugino. And yeah. I was like, this is where I should be living. Yeah, yeah. They can pronounce my have name. Have you ever made a movie over there? They have a very Never. big good film industry over there. Can you there. help me out with that? Yeah, I can hook you uh, up. Yeah, I yeah, really, yeah. I appreciate that. I once made a film with an Italian director and he said, you know, the difference between America and Italy is this, Greg. In America, you use movies to make money. In Italy, we use money to make movies. <laughs> Nice. That's the way it yeah, should be. Yeah, I know. And then they pay you more. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's nice. No, I had a funny experience when I was like 20 years old. I went to, uh, um, I got flown over to Italy to screen test with this famous dude, Franco Zeffirelli. Oh, wow. Amazing Italian yes. director. And I was so excited and terrified. And I was invited to his house for dinner. <laughs> We're sitting at the table, and this older, wonderful Italian woman brings out a big bowl of pasta. And, and I look to the side of me, and there's two little stools and bowls on the table. And I'm thinking, are there children coming? I don't know what's going on. Literally, Maybe the cast of Entourage. Dogs. Is... What? Dogs. Dogs? Two Come small in? dogs jump up on the stools and begin eating with us at the table. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, it was yeah, so yeah. Italian. Nice and forks? No forks, no yeah. knives, but very polite. Yeah. No slurping or, you know, nah, they were very well there, trained yeah. dogs. Yeah. I'm kind of slurping a bit now. <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll be right back with Carla Gugino. Carla Gugino. I'm here with Carla Gugino. Her family are from Italy. Aren't they? <laughs> yes, they are. Yeah. And uh, what was that film there then? That's The Lookout, which yeah. uh, Scott Frank, an amazing screenwriter, it's his first movie he directed, and it's so good. And I can say it because I have a very small role in that movie, a role that I love, but I got to watch the rest of the movie just like an audience member. And Joe You know Gordon what you should it. do if you have a small role in a movie, or even a big role in a movie? Don't read the rest of the movie, just read the bits you're in, and then it'll be a lovely surprise that's when you go what, to the premiere. That's, that's what Woody Allen has his actors do often. Right. Well, you know that? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pharaoh, I worked with her on a movie, Miami Rhapsody, and she did not read any scenes but her own. Right. Um, but I'm there was a lot going on the, with Woody Allen and There, there, me, I wasn't there was a lot going on at that time, actually, yeah, yeah. as well. Was yes. it at that time? Yes, it was that time. But, um, <sighs> but yeah. No, I'm too curious. Like, I'm the person who has to try to not look at the last page of the novel. Right. It's hard for me. What? I want to know the end before why, I get why, there. Why? You should enjoy the I know. Journey. It's about enjoy the journey. The I know. I know. I mean, you're Italian. That's what it's all about. Enjoy it. No, no. No, listen. Are you, you live in L.A. now or you're in New York? I go between the two, oh, right. which is which is super exciting. I just did something. Do you ever last stop summer. in Ozark? Um, um, occasionally, when I just want something a little more live. It's nice. You think yeah. Ozark is nice? Yeah. It's in Arkansas. Yes, yes, yeah. I've heard. It doesn't no, have an airport, been. but it's nice. <laughs> so you live here. You like it here better? No, I love both. I just did a play. I did Suddenly Last Summer in New York for five months, which right. was an amazing, which once I was there, I never wanted to leave, but now I'm back here and I love it. Yeah, so. yeah. And where are your folks? Are they here or back there? No, my dad is actually in Florida and my mom is in California. Really? Yeah. Is your dad, in, does he live in a retirement community and wear his pants up really? No, he doesn't. He's actually like the coolest um, sort of Italian, you know, Dr. Gugino. Dr. So, Gugino, yes, oh yes. my lord. Yeah. yeah down he has better, better taste than me in clothes. He has more clothes than I do. You really? Know? Yeah, totally. That's kind of odd. <laughs> He's going to love that I said that, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has a lot of clothes? Yeah, he has a lot of clothes. He has a lot of ties. He's got a lot of clothes. Yeah, I, you know what? Whose tie is this? Who is Bob I, Barker's. Is it really? Yeah? I get to use it. You get the recycled one. Yeah, 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 I get to use it. It smells a bit. Smell? Let's see. Uh. You know what that smell is? Slight OG Vitamins. mildew. <laughs> Vitamins and wee-wee. That's the smell. <laughs> I smell it. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I actually don't know what that smell is, which is a bit worrying. 
<laughs> Listen, is it true you're going up for jury duty? Have you gone up? Did you do it, or are you going up for no, it? Or what? Next week is jury duty. I'm terrified. Why? I, I, you didn't commit a crime, did you? No, but I'm afraid they're going to pick me. That's the thing. I'm All afraid right. I'm too. My I have an honest face, and I'd be a good juror. Like, yeah, yeah, well, uh, um, would you be? I mean, it's your civic duty. You I, it to. is. It is. No, I'm actually. It'll be an interesting experience. I've never done it before. So well, neither have I. The, that's um, the only thing about you know when I become a citizen, I'll have to do jury duty. But I I'm know. just going to say, kill them all. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you go. Like, kill them all! And nice to meet you too. Yeah. Yeah. Kill them all! <laughs> well, this is for unpaid parking tickets. Kill them! <laughs> I think I'm going to use that. Yeah, that's yeah. the... That's Hopefully if they didn't ever... watch the show, no. and then I can use that. Yeah, no, cops watch this show. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they like to know where I am. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the middle of the night. They can see what's going on. Exactly. In LA. Yeah. It's like, listen, it's lovely to see you again. Come back and see us anytime. Likewise. All right. Thank Thank you good you deal, so everybody. Much. We'll be right back. With Randy Kutu. My first guest is very, very attractive. I've got to be honest. I, she's been here many times before, and every time she comes here, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Um, she's in a new film called Women in Trouble. <laughs> Promising title. <laughs> in theatres on Friday. Take a look at this. There's only one way for them to survive. Get rid of your clothing. It's going to get hot in there. <laughs> got to get hot in that elevator, there's fire. Ah. And then, some kind of pillow fight. <laughs> I know how creepy I am. <laughs> and I don't care. <laughs> Please welcome the very beautiful Carla Gugino, everybody. Carla Gugino. Um, why, thank you. You do. You look like... I like the strap working across it's sort here. Of, like yeah. the, it's nice. And the shoes work. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, all, I'm all matching. So yeah, no, it's great. Um, I have two things to say. One is that we actually do take off our clothes in that thing. <laughs> this may be the greatest movie ever made. <laughs> day of the year and we're trapped in an elevator what, what else could, do you do yeah, you know it's gonna that's happen that's all i'm saying so i want to say you're psychic no um, well i kind of <laughs> saw it coming a little bit but that's only because i've studied the form of screenplay of course of yeah course. and um, you take your clothes off for this movie then I, well i don't i mean i t we you know like tasteful lingerie but but yes that's we, okay we, that'll we, work fine with me <laughs> we do get slightly less clothed than that and that's and, connie uh, britain and that's it? connie britain yeah, I know her. who yeah. is i know yeah who is a great friend of both of ours and who is amazing hilarious in the movie and fantastic and do both of you get into tasteful laundry in the we elevator do, we do we do there, there there are many ladies in the movie that that is in fact uh part of this is the, this, this is my this, this is the big winter really is oh you just, like the cup i do and i i've liked it from afar but now that i see it closer it's i really feel yeah. sort of special about yeah, it yeah it's some kind of freudian compensation oh, it's, thing, yeah it really is <laughs> Um, the other thing is that in Sucker Punch, because I know that you just saw my friend Jenna Malone. Yes, um, yes, yes. Uh, this the movie I'm filming up in Vancouver right now, I am Polish. You play I am Polish? a Polish character. Oh, that would have been... Dr. If Rogorski. only you could have been here in two days, we were having our uh, countdown I know, to Polish I, Independence I feel that Day. My, my country is being honoured and, and... Yes, we've got a whole thing planned. Uh, well, I want to know what it's all going to be. Well, I, I, uh, I, <laughs> did you do a lot of studying for well, your Polish character? Well, this is the thing, character? is that I, I, I hesitated to say that because I also don't know what we do for our Independence Day. Right. Though my character does, for sure. Um, <laughs> but, well, did, did you learn a Polish accent? Of course. Well, maybe we can all just... Begin we, by speaking in Polish we, accent. We could learn from it. Poland. Poland is how they would say that they are from Poland. I, I didn't know it was in Pakistan. <laughs> Poland. <laughs> They're talking like this in Poland. Uh, no. No, I'm kidding you. <laughs> <laughs> but I like your Indian sort of. Well, you know, I know I'm from Poland. <laughs> you know, sometimes people move from one country to another country. <laughs> it is true. Yeah. We are all mutts, you know. Yeah, the yeah. It's I mean, true. there could be an Indian. Gentleman example who moved to Poland, uh, celebrated Polish Independence Day, and then got hot in an elevator with two chicks. I don't know, I don't I'm know making it up. I mean. <laughs> I've never been to Poland, but I imagine certain areas of the poorer parts of Warsaw may be much like this studio. <laughs> On Wednesday, I think you should just decorate it as such. Oh, yeah, yeah, Maybe. we could probably do that. I think we could remove the giant photograph of Reno uh, and possibly. replace it. 
We'll replace it with a, with a photograph of the shipyards <laughs> of Gdansk. And, and right there, yeah. I think, you be yeah. And I'll wear a big moustache like Lech Wales. So there you are. <laughs> and Polish people across America will be <laughs> delighted at my support. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the movie looks very good, the and it's to... nice to see you again. We are out so of time, good you know. to see you too. We are. Is that it? That's it. Yeah, unless you want to come back for Polish Independence Day. Well, I mean, you never know. I could just fly down from Vancouver, you know. Are you going back up there tonight? Tonight, yeah. And it, of course, it's already half past <laughs> twelve or something. It's so late. <laughs> it's so late. It's in the middle of the night. I like to fly. You know? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that, that is actually the best time. You know, it is. It, it is. is. It's the true. best time to fly. The it's air true. is is kind of smoother. Uh, it's true. There's not turbulence coming up from it's the. True. Yeah, no, the air's smooth. But what? I should say, what? in due diligence, this movie is really funny, really moving. Everybody is amazing in it. it there, there are many a woman in lingerie, but also you, you had know, me at the two girls actors. in the elevator. <laughs> I, I, I think you're sold. <laughs> Carla Gugino, everybody. We'll be right back. My first guest tonight is a very beautiful actress. She's in a new film called Electra Lux, which has got two X's in it, but I don't think it's a porn. <laughs> Although I don't know. <laughs> Who's to say? <laughs> Me. <laughs> anyway, it's in theaters March the 11th. Take a look at this. <laughs> Can I buy you a drink? <laughs> I did bring you boiled sweets. Yeah, and, I don't, and no, it you was really not. unfortunate that was my choice. No, no. Um, <laughs> you mean hard candy? Well, that's a whole nother uh, thing. They, that, yeah, blonde hair. Blonde hair. I'm glad to and see you're you, though. I, I mean, it looked nice and everything, but yeah, you know. Yeah, but, well, you know, you always look better with your natural color hair, sadly. Uh, but it's true. Most people. Is that true? I think so. Well, then I better go to my natural I, I, color. Exactly. I mean, like, bright red. I no, think my natural color. Do you know what I thought when I saw Christian Bale uh, get his Oscar? With his I thought, red beard. Somebody's advertising what's down below. <laughs> Don't you think? I was thinking it the might... The thought did not cross my mind, but yes, you're absolutely yeah, right. Of course, you yeah, you go, oh, right. he's yes. ginger down below <laughs> me, boys. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, I, yeah uh, I think everybody thought that when he was getting out. I was like, oh, uh, we know only now. You, only yeah. you thought that. No, me, you said yes. you, no, did you? Um, no, did you I said I didn't think oh, that, didn't but think I that. think you're right. What, uh, can I uh, uh, buy you a drink? But, but... <laughs> What's really funny is that Electrolux is a porn star. Really? My the movie is, a, oh, is a porn actually movie, a porn star. It is not a porn movie. Okay. <laughs> um, um, sorry to disappoint. You. you don't see that much of her work. You see a little bit of her work. Right. But generally, you see By her. By work, do you mean? I mean, do you know? Hey. <laughs> Is there um, lesbian things th going There on? are some lesbians in the movie, so you love will love it. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> you will love it. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, everybody, uh, lesbians are very fashionable right now with, you know, Black Swan. Yes, it's true. It's yeah. true. But, yeah. but haven't they always been kind of? It's with just me, a, you yeah. bet they have, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, no uh, what happens then? Do you play in a porn star? In the movie? I play a porn star. She uh, she is pregnant, which is tricky as a porn oh, star. That's, she uh, decides that's... to quit and she goes through all the things that women go through. It's like, can I be a good example? All of those things. Meanwhile, she is a porn star. Her name is Electrolux. Yeah, but that's not a real name, right? Well, she can't reveal those things. Do you know how to do your porn name? Have no, you ever I done can't it? remember. How is it? It's your first pet right. and the first street you lived on. Uh, right, okay, so I would, well, what's yours? Mine is, um, mine is Rubby, <laughs> Rubby Crespo. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not sure that's so sexy, but yeah, no, you know, oh, yeah, a little bit of Rubby Crespo. But Rubby Crespo could right. have some fun. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I think mine would be uh, Olga Daruch. Oh my God! It sounds like, like a Lithuanian shot I was, shot I was gonna say something. you're like in a, you're like Bergman gone porn. Yeah, yeah, you know? it's, yeah. Uh, it's uh, Olga. Yeah, <laughs> I had a guinea pig called Olga, Olga when I was a kid. Well, it wasn't really mine; it was my sister's. But you know, I got to hold it. I feel like you have such a love for animals. Like, did I do you want to have a zoo? Like, I feel I'd like love to have a zoo. I, I, I'm do you want to open a zoo together? I, I mean, maybe we could. <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome? That's maybe the best <laughs> idea anybody's ever had. So I'm, well, I'm just saying, think. Let's no, think about it. Carla Craig Zoo. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, yeah. first. No, no, but I think people Carla would want that. Craig, Craig and Carla. Yeah, like, yeah. Mm, I don't know. Maybe what kind of that. animals would you have in your zoo then? Um. Snooky. <laughs> 
Well, <laughs> perhaps one could be called Snooky. Yeah, yeah. I think we should have a kangaroo called Snooky and another yeah, one called the say, situation. We, we need a giraffe. A giraffe. That oh, could be I called the giraffes. situation. Although I have to say that I think giraffes sometimes can look a little bit, um, what's the word, uh, pleased with them smells, a little smug. Do you know what I mean? Because yes, they are. They're well, like, they're above everybody. They're yeah, looking well, down at everyone. Yeah, and then it's like, you know, they yeah. can eat the, the salad from they're the top. They're a little stuffy, those giraffes. Do you think giraffes are stuffy? Or I mean, they, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> now, speaking of animals, I was born the year of the pig. Oh, and so I feel it's very appropriate yes, that today. It is, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, When's the year of the pig? Well, I'm not trying to work out old. Uh, yeah, yeah, saying, yeah, yeah. Clearly, yeah. really, Why? must we reveal this 24? now? Twenty-four. <laughs> exactly. Wow. Um, yeah, and yeah. the picture of the pig that you showed is Danny DeVito, yes. who, crazily enough, on March 11th, also, I did this movie called Girl Walks Into a Bar. Two movies same day being released, crazy. Wait. And Danny DeVito is in Girl Walks Into a Bar. No, wait, 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 wait. First of all, let me just stress that I didn't say Danny DeVito was a pig. Uh, you showed him as that particular animal no, in that instance. No, I, know I you said don't think George can. Clooney's little cuddly <laughs> friend. <laughs> And then, and then it was a picture of Danny DeVito. It was a, it's you did say, let's see the picture of the sweet pig or no, something no, like that. No, I didn't that. say pig. I was very careful because... <laughs> and, now, and now I'm bringing it up and we're reiterating Yeah, yeah you're really it's, getting me I'm out really of it I'm really helping now. you here, yeah. See, I didn't want to mention that. I Danny genuinely... will find it hilarious. Well, Daddy will be fine with it. Well, yeah. I, what I'm worried about is that I will genuinely upset George Clooney all over again. And I never wanted to do that. I genuinely regret telling that joke. Do you ever say it and you regret sometimes? I mean, every day, though. Well, yeah, that's but I do it on the show. But see, show. that's the thing is you do it on yeah. the air. And then it looks like I somehow uncaring about exactly. the man's, you know, pig. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I feel not. that he's probably gotten over it. You know, I do. It's I usually just sitting in an apartment <laughs> in West Hollywood going, that oh, bitch! Damn that corner! <laughs> no, he's probably not. You're right. He's probably going, I don't care about this. I, he doesn't know about this. He's in Italy. Now he will. Yeah, no, he'll he know, won't. You'll know. You'll see he your apologies. No, he'll be all right. But yeah. yes. Two movies, same day, which is crazy. And well, do you have to, I mean, do you have to go on, do you have to come back here tomorrow then? I'm ready, I'm ready. We'll yeah, talk you, more about our yeah, zoo. Yeah. yeah, no, that'd be nice, yeah, actually. Yeah. No, I do. Why do you want to open a zoo? Are you I never did until I... I you just you, decided well, right there? Well, because you have so many animals, you have such love for animals, I thought you should open a zoo, but then you said, let's do it together. Oh, well, I can do it my own <laughs> if you want. I don't need you. <laughs> oh, but you do. <laughs> no, I, no I, I'd buy you a drink, but I don't need... <laughs> No. Speaking of drinks, Girl Walks Into a Bar is right. in L.A., one night, ten bars in Los Angeles. Is that a documentary? Did you and, actually do it? Well, this is the thing. You shoot at the bars during the day. So you start at like 6 a.m. because the bars close. You know, they open at 6 p.m. So you need to be done shooting by then. Right. So about 1 p.m., you're like, I don't know, that martini is looking pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> like, I've been here for six hours. What am I doing in a bar if I'm not drinking? <laughs> um, <laughs> and I'm just, I just, you know, I didn't, by the way. Right. I, did, I don't drink. I don't judge working. you for that. You no, know, no. I, mean, but it's, I, I, I had that. a hopeless alcohol problem years and years ago. I'm, I'm, I'm very... One o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> like, <laughs> home time. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah. So you never drank in the morning or compulsively? No, no. Chocolate cake, now that's another thing. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. it's not the same thing. I mean, you won't have, you know, half a dozen no, you chocolate just, cakes and then maybe sleep with your friend. Than, yeah. You know, yeah. it's uh, like... <laughs> a little chunky. Yeah, you kind of go, But happy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really? Are you big on the, uh, the chocolate? I am big on the chocolate. Really? Yeah. Do you, like, when you start eating it, you can't stop? No, no, I can stop. I just don't ever go a day without chocolate. No, neither do I. Yeah, no, Except when my teeth hurt. I haven't had any today. I, I know. Why are your teeth hurt? Well, they, I had them cleaned. Yeah, you know, that, and, and they get into the gums with well, the... Well, yeah, and when you, when you, you have teeth Scottish teeth... teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've only got about three or four Scottish ones left, but they're still... <laughs> but they're You're still, becoming all American. Oh, man. You really are. One tooth at a time, <laughs> I'll tell you. I like the disheveled look. Yeah, it's, it's what K happened before Kmart. you came out here? Uh, well, it, you know, I kept trying to look like a late night talk show host. Then I thought, well, look, nobody else is trying. Why the hell do I? So I, I make a vague nod in that direction. I really like it. Oh, well, thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah, I, I like the way you look. Thank you. Let's um, uh, get started on that zoo. <laughs> All right, we, well, we got to go. Well, you'll have to come back for the other movie. Yes. Would I you would. like a, an awkward pause or a mouth organ? Um, I, I think I'm going to have to go with a mouth organ because... I was I, really hoping you'd say... I, I, I really, I don't know how to turn that down. No, you, <laughs> you shouldn't turn it down. It's fresh. It hasn't been touched. Help I'm, I'm sadly not as good as you at this, but let's well, see what we can do. I'm not very good at this. I, I actually can't play because my teeth hurt. I have to just kind of breathe on the, the organ. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm following you. Oh, really? Like, then, what do we uh, do? Suck and blow. <laughs> <laughs> well, that I can do. Here it goes. <laughs> nah, I can't do nice this to now. See you. I haven't seen you in a while. It's nice to see you.
like smoking. You look fantastic. Thank you very look much. I thought I should wear color for you. You oh, know, just a little yeah. spice it's, it up. It's the, you know me, purple just uh, sets me off. <laughs> I know, I know. I feel that I should explain that clip because it sort of seemed as if he possibly had fathered those penguins or something. <laughs> it, it, it is called Mr. Popper's Penguins. It was and then you see Jim Carrey with, with some penguins and you say, you look who's a new dad. And I'm like, he, I, I had nothing to hell? do with it. That's what I want you to know. I had nothing to do with, with the, the penguins. Right. So. Um, no, no, in fact, in fact, the penguins are sent by his father, who was out in the Antarctic for his whole life, and finally the father sends these penguins to him. What's wrong with and the postcard? I mean, you know, <laughs> then you have no movie. Well, yeah, that's true. Mr. Popper's postcard is like, yeah, like five time. minutes. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's fantastic. So the penguins are uh, hijinks that would ensue, I would imagine. Yeah, probably. for sure. I yeah. mean, I don't want to give anything away, but you know, it's. Yeah, no, I, it's Jim Carrey. You can tell, it's penguins. But it's uh, Angela Lansbury also. Angela Lansbury's in mm -hmm. that? How cool is that? Wow, that's awesome. Do we? Have a picture of Angela Lansbury. There she is. Now you know we do that here. You know I we heard do that. rumors. Yeah, yeah, no, we do that. <laughs> She's amazing. She, you know what I thought? I met her once, actually, Angela Lansbury. She's about eight foot tall, isn't she? I mean, she's enormous. Woman. She is really tall. She's also really. She is sharp as a tack. I mean, if we could be as sharp as she is, you know, right now, we'd be lucky. I mean, this woman is. <laughs> I mean. The hell? Friends. You come out here wearing the purple saying. dress, everything going on, I think things are going well, things are going... And then suddenly, boom! If you were as sharp as Angela Lansbury, you might have a show. Uh, You're right, though. You're right. There's no arguing with it. You have lots of very good qualities. She just happens to be particularly astute. This I was blown away by her. And she's like 82 years old. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. She looks saying. good in her photograph as she well. She really does. She really does. That haircut was different than the last yeah, time no, I saw her. Yeah, that was that was a short yeah, haircut. She yeah. was going through an experimental yes, phase. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and don't we all really? Did you? Did you go? Whoa! <laughs> did you go through an experimental phase? Maybe at college when you were snowed in? Um, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I didn't go to college, in fact. You so, didn't? No. Neither did I. I am also stupid. Yes, yeah. you got it. That's what I'm talking about. Did, did, you, did, you, did you drop out of high school? No, no, no. No, I was, a, I was valedictorian, actually. It was a very strange... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that, well, I know. It's then weird. why didn't you go to college? I was going to, and then, I, and then you know, acting took ah, over. And, ah, and I see. That was what happened, and I ended up becoming a, a, a child actor, That's which is so strange. Yeah, no, that, not that's plan. almost my story. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Apart from the reverse. valedictorian and the child actor, and the, uh, yeah, but uh, uh, no, I, I, I kind of dropped out. Yeah. I regret that. Do you ever regret not getting a college degree? You know, I kind of, I, I do, I do mostly because, I don't know if I gr regret it, but I definitely thought it was going to be a totally different path, but because I love acting so much, it's hard to regret it. Yeah, no, you know? I guess. Not can't you get a degree general. in acting? You can get a degree in acting, Yeah, can't you? yeah, yeah, absolutely. What's it called? I've got time degree to get acting? degrees. <laughs> you could probably get one now because you're famous and awesome and everything. You could go and make a speech at a college and they'd be like, Dr. Gugino, yeah. you yeah. get like a fake degree. Yeah, that's not yeah. a fake. You can get your own TV show and give yeah. people advice with that no. kind of... Ooh, la, la. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd have to do the real deal. You know, really? Wouldn't you think, for you? Yeah, all right. Yeah. Well, what would you study then if you went back to college? I wanted to study art history at the time, mm -hmm. um, but now that seems like not as interesting to me as it did then. Really? Yeah. Well, you've gone off art? But, uh, but, no, I've not gone off art, but now I, I love to travel, I love to see art, but I don't know if I would actually want to sit and look at books and learn it that way, you mm -hmm. know? So what are we talking about then? I Skiing? mean, we we <laughs> we could we could we could start because we were thinking of starting our zoo. Also, maybe I would need to get some sort of a degree for that. We right? were talking about starting mm -hmm. a zoo. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, what about penguins right there? Exactly. Okay, let me tell you about these penguins. So All right. this is the thing: they had their own habitat on our set in Brooklyn where we were shooting. Wait, wait, wait! These so, are not CGI penguins; they're real no, penguins. No, 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 they're real penguins. I am their girlfriend. Are, I want to see this. There are some CGI penguins in there. I'm not going right. to joke. But there, no, we had an entire. We had our troop of penguins. Right. They they could not function properly over 40 degrees, so our set the entire time was 39 degrees. Really? At which point I was like, it would be kind of awesome if you would say, like, Carla Gugino works best at 72 degrees. No, no, you... You know? Can yeah. I just say, you work best below about 40 degrees? For, <laughs> I know my reasons, don't ask me. <laughs> That. Yeah, I'll yeah, bet there was yeah. a lot of that. Yeah, yeah I yeah. know Jim Carrey. I know exactly <laughs> what was going on. Oh, uh, yeah, it's for the penguins, baby. Uh, not for me, it's for the penguins. <laughs> Yeah, um, but it was crazy. It was freezing on set the entire time, and I'm not I'm not good in the cold. Really? 
Now, Where are, are you? you? From? I'm from Florida. Oh <laughs> yeah, that, that would probably work yeah. against you. No penguins in Florida. No, I'm very thin, <laughs> thin-blooded. No, I'm from Scotland. It's, it's quite. I was going to say, yeah, yeah, you're you're a good tough stock, right? No, no, no. They, there are people like that there, <laughs> but I. But not your people. No, not no. me. I'm more kind of like it's cold. <laughs> we go Did you do that Florida? one more time? <laughs> Yeah, no, I do. I do that yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why I was thrown out of Scotland. I, Can you stop doing that? Why? <laughs> I don't know. I think you could come up with your own dance move. You with mean for a horse? That could be called something. Yeah, no, I, I do dance a lot with the, the horse that comes out. I was going to bring him out, but we've done it already. I don't know. I mean, I do love Secretariat. All right, then. I, I think it would be... Who's that in the door? Now, that was worth enough, it for sure. That that horse works best at about forty degrees. Yes, if you get I, I could, I could get tell. above that, yeah, it's not going to work. No. Colin, we're out of time already. I can't believe. Really? It. Yeah, really. It goes so fast. I know. Um, listen, uh, uh, mouth organ, awkward pause, or touch my glittery ball. Well, I did do the mouth organ last time. I, I think. I mean. You know, a glistening, glittery ball. I didn't. Seems appropriate. I didn't. I uh, know. I did not say glistening. I, I like think to, you, you I brought like... glistening to the party yourself. I, you know, I, I like to sort of fill in the blanks. I, I'll take the glittery ball. Right, take the glittery ball. All right. Uh, now, uh, what happens is that it, we haven't really thought this through, other okay. than I like saying. I uh, touched my glittery ball, but right. other than I, that, I, what we, do we do with it? Well, we're, we're still kind of working. No, don't just no. <laughs> don't just very, grab at it. Don't just grab at it. You're very protective of your glittery ball. It's not ball. that I'm protective. I just want you to do, work up to it. You know. <laughs> you know. What I was doing originally was like you had to wait, and then I would say, "Mr. Bus Driver, touch my glittery ball." But oh, I see. It wasn't really working, so we need something else. Um. Well, I was going to do Think Fast, but now I can't because you won't let me do that. You are. All right, well, um, what about Think... Okay, do, you, do we make a wish on the glitter? That's ball? a great idea. What wish, what wish do you want to make? Uh, wish, make a wish want... on my glittery ball. But I can't say the wish out loud then. Well, because well, it won't come true? Yeah, right? Isn't that the... the no, it won't, like, the wish won't come true if anybody hears it, but it's this show. Nobody's going to hear it, so... Yeah. Okay. All right. Don't... you got to wish for something... you got to wish for something comedic and sexy. Oh, no. Will you do my wish for me? I'll make it yeah, if come I, true. If I, if I do your wish, it'll just get beeped out. <laughs> All right, then. Let's, uh, let's just... Uh, Can I hold it while you're making the wish, Yeah, please? go on, then. Okay. That's awesome. I, oh, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah. Your glittery ball is pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can make the wish for it's, us? It's, it's turned into an awkward pause, hasn't it? <laughs> Absolutely spectacular. It's just wow. sensational. Thank You're all you glittery so and shiny. I could just polish you up. You, <laughs> you, we need to do some polishing. It's very messy around you. Oh, it's just kids having fun. We'll be fine. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's how I uh, tell the future. Yeah. I can you tell my future? Please. I can tell your future. You're moving about basketball playing uh -huh. months. Uh huh. <laughs> well, yes, yes. It's, it's going to be a big hit. Thank. There you go. There, I, that's I mean, good. I loved you before, but now it's you know once we get. That's all it takes. Second, it, it is. I'm easy. Really? <laughs> <laughs> that's sensational news. Um, um, the, the, what's the movie's about? Basketball playing nuns? It, it, no, it, it is really. It's based on a true story, and it's a real woman uh, in the early '70s, Kathy Rush, who took a small Catholic girls' college, Immaculata College. She went to like coach there, basically just to suppress their hormones. Was sort of the the theory, and she took them all the way to the nationals, changed the face of women's basketball, and it's kind of amazing. Let's go back to the hormone <laughs> suppression. <Amazing>. Yeah. <laughs> So they're going to try Generally, if you might be studying to be a nun, that might not be the way. Oh, you. they were studying to be nuns? Well, no, they weren't. They, they were in the presence of nuns. They were, um, some might have wanted to be nuns. Did you ever consider uh, taking the habit yourself? No. 
<laughs> but I will say that in the movie, I did, um, the, but we, we actually shot at Immaculate College, and the nuns and everybody there are so amazing that you can kind of see how something magical could have come from that place. Like, it is really, really special. Do you know what the first movie I ever saw had nuns in it? It was uh, Sound of Music when yes. I was a kid, when I was three. Singing. Yeah, the singing. I was terrified of them. Well, I thought they were killer. <laughs> I thought they were like giant killer penguins well, or something. <laughs> Yeah. Is that is that we, this was the whole thing with this team because I looked at all this archival footage and what's amazing is these nuns were in the stands, cheering. I mean they were going crazy and the other teams were like, "There's no way we meet, beat these guys." I mean they have God on their side. Right? Yeah. Well, Do you know what I mean? Yes. Um, well, it's a bigger debate, really. But, but I it's see where you're going. Debate. Yeah, it yeah, is. yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a much. Are debate. you an extremely religious person yourself? I am not. I actually at all. I'm. I'm. I would. I would say I'm a spiritual person, oh. but not a religious person. Which was actually what was really amazing about playing this role is that I learned a lot more about sort of that whole world and that religion than I had known about it. Have you ever been to Rome? The centre of the Catholic yes. Church? I've, well, the Vatican. Yes. I've been there. Yes. Did when you like I, it? I did like it. Did you I was have pizza? Sort of, I had pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I should have had pizza. You did no, but I remember pizza? looking at the Colosseum going, I'm such a tiny little speck of dust. Like I had one of those complete like realisation moments No, no, my as, place as in the world. No, no, as specks of dust go, you're doing fine. You're, uh, yeah, yeah. I, uh, you're one of the more vavoom speck of dust. <laughs> that, no, Thank I know you. what you mean though. I, I went to uh, Rome. You know, perspective. Yes, and, like, yeah. Well, I'm from a very old country. Also, you I'm are. getting quite old you myself. So. And, and, you do, and you do a very good British accent. Thank you very much indeed. Have you, you ever been there? Sort of Britain? Sort of like I have sort of, and then, and then somehow you always want to do this. You know? so, I don't know why. Like that. It was, it was like None that. of my British friends do uh, that, uh, but everybody does it. Well, yes. I, I was like, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> exactly. Excuse me, I have to go and get my sausages. Just one moment, please. Just get over here. I've got a... What was that? And everything becomes like this. Well, I used to be terribly angry at British English people. People, really, to be honest, when I was uh, when I was because young, of their superiority. Well, or... because I was Scotland, England. Right. It's kind of like yeah. you know, uh, you know, them and us. And and then as I got older, I found them rather charming. And they're always doing mad things. Like I just have to go over here and get a hippopotamus I left later. <laughs> so we have to get it over here quickly, or it's going to dry out. But somehow, yeah. because of their accent, you, they sound really smart saying yeah, that too. You're like, oh yes. Oh, you, you, you don't do. want your hippopotamus I mean, I mean, to dry you out quickly. Get to... it over here. Yeah. Um, Let's moisturize yes. it. Yes. Yeah. No, but I did dress as a nun in the movie. Did you? And you, you, it's so hot, those habits are boiling. You're telling me. I, I, oh, I see what you mean, yeah. You're <laughs> <laughs> ah, right, did you have one of the big giant hats? <laughs> Um, no, they are, I don't know how they are not sweating. Constantly. They might be. They, they, they might be, Yeah, they might know. be, yeah. No, no um, yes. Uh, so after Rome, yeah. where did you go? I'm trying to get you off religion. I know, I know, and I really appreciate so, that. So, um, I am Italian, so I like... Really? I like with a name like Gugino? Isn't that weird? Yeah. But the other side is Irish, and you may not know that. I... Burgess. Think. What is the other? Burgess. Burgess? Yeah. Is that Irish? Yeah. English-Irish. Oh. Um... <laughs> Conversation stopper. <laughs> I didn't um, know Burgess was Irish. I, um, I heard something about myself about Irish today, actually. Really? Yeah, I used to think that my mother's family were Scottish and my father's family were Irish. Right. But I heard from my Uncle James that I actually no, my mother's family also Irish. Really? I'm a complete fraud. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All this time. Yeah, and completely... the only thing that's Scottish about me is my um, <laughs> enormous penis. Other than that. <laughs> going to be one thing that well, was Scottish. Well, if you're going to take one I mean, thing from being Scottish, that's, and I was yeah, born there and raised there, and, you know. Like. Yeah. Do you fancy a commercial break? Uh, terrible. <laughs> badly. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, I was uh, I was here the whole time you were watching commercials. <laughs> it was good commercial break. Though. I was just staring at you. The yeah, whole time no, you know, I I I I. I, I ah. <laughs> you must think men behave like idiots all the time, but it's only when you're there. <laughs> the rest of the time we're fine. Really? Yeah, we, we don't all bump into. That. I have to go get my hippopotamus. You know, it's it's fine. I, I I really do want to meet your hippopotamus someday. Is, is that? <laughs> no, that wasn't a, that wasn't a double entendre. That was because you did such a good impression of the Brit. Well, I, I yeah. And you made me well, believe. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's because I'm being, you know, kind of fussy. Yeah. So where are you going but next time? But did you notice that we're matching? What, this? As if we should go to an event together. Well, we can go to an event together. Mm-hmm. And we'd look very what, what regal. What event do you and, want to go to? Um, I don't know. We could go to the Wax Museum. Sure. Something, you know, goes to That's the an event. I mean, I don't know. Man, you really are. Like, 
let's go to the wax museum and see Brad Pitt. You can make... <laughs> Don't those things freak you out? I don't know, I find them highly entertaining. I, I love it when they get the photograph to you. It's Paris Hilton and her wax image. Which one is different? Like... It's like, it's clearly that stuff. I mean, I, you know, oh, I don't mean no disrespect if you're a wax artist, but they are rubbish. It, it must be really hard, right? Oh, it must be terribly hard, yeah. especially when you get... It's we can't judge that. Someone super attractive as well. <laughs> it's like Angelina Jolie and you get this kind of... <laughs> Man. But yeah, let's go to the but, wax museum. But, but the more people get Botox and all that kind of stuff, it's just going to start true. looking more similar, yes, you know? That is true. So maybe that will help I'm going to get that done, though. Are you? Yeah. Where, where gonna... do you want to get it? Pretty much all of me. <laughs> uh, I'd like to... Yeah. I've noticed as I get older, my skin's getting a little loose. Right. So I'd like to kind of, like... <laughs> just firm it up. Get firm up everything. Just get, like, a, uh, some kind of faucet right? at the top <laughs> and just have it drip down my entire it's body. It's a monthly drip. Yeah. A month... Uh, oh, that's just... No, so, that was a not, very no. bad one. No. Yeah. Not good. That sounds terrible. <laughs> so the wax museum then, that's a love. How I mean, often we could have an there? event there. I don't know. I'm sure they have events at the wax museum. Yeah, I never go. That's why I want to go. Well, that's true. Do you ever go to the Ripley's, <laughs> believe it or not, up in Hollywood? I have never been there either. But, you know, no. I, I just never fantasize have about these places. I just don't go. But the Ripley's, believe it or not, I think it's a very lazy title for a museum because they're like, believe it or don't. Or no, whatever. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like, what about I'm... Ripley's? We don't give it. Uh oh. How about that? <laughs> never thought of that and it's true what yeah, a it's like believe it or don't believe it like you just give us the money sucker <laughs> uh, do you fascinated by that or do you do you uh, you know look at uh, photographs of people with odd things I, I... <laughs> <laughs> Not generally. Oh, okay. Um, I no, stole but, my but, collection. <laughs> no, but you know, now in magazines, every, nobody looks like they look, you know? So it's like. Do you know I, when I, that, we, that thing when you look in the magazine, it says the stars, they're just like us? Right. They're not. No. <laughs> no. I mean, they might be like you, but they're not like me. It's like, the stars, they're just like us. They pack their groceries. And I'm like, that's. But everyone does groceries. have superstitions. Everyone has those little things that make them the same, which is where they're going with that theory. They just well, don't ever pick the right ones. What little superstitions do you have, then? Don't you have, like... Sure, but I asked you, you first. I don't know, when you're going through a yellow light, do you kiss the roof of your car? No, I will now. I mean, uh, now you got to, because if I you don't, don't go it's through bad a yellow news. light because I obey the highway code. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess you know, you're I've got, rebel I've got another way. one. Uh, let's see. I have to wear a certain color of underpants when I do this show. Really? I used to have it. I only broke it yesterday. Wow. I, I would, I How would was the show yesterday? It. it was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I thought I was wrong. Yeah, I, I had these rituals in theater, and one night I used to always put my script in one place, like when I'm doing a Broadway play, mm -hmm. and one night I forgot it, and I was truly terrified. And I had, like, one of the best shows I've ever had. Well, you know, that happened so... to me once I was getting on a plane, and I always had this weird thing that I should never drop a coat hanger before I get on a plane, because <laughs> then the plane will get into difficulty. Right. Yeah, I'm very crazy. Oh, person. I do this too, yeah. though. This is, we've got to help. Magical it's magical thinking. Yes. It's a symptom of, uh, it's being crazy, but the, uh, <laughs> but what you, I thought, I, and then I was getting on this plane once, and I was, uh, and I dropped. A, I don't even know why I was carrying a, a coat hanger, but I dropped the coat hanger, and it landed, and it scuttled off down the tarmac, and I thought I'm in big trouble, and then here it, I am. Yeah, yeah, you're here, and 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 I don't know why I'm to the coat hanger. <laughs> <laughs> but that is magic. I think okay. it's a, I think it's something to do with being a control freak. For sure, it's you know? a kid thing and wanting control, and then you start. It used to always be for me a color of rubber band. Oh, really? Gotten over it. Gotten over it. But, yeah. Do you always wore a color? Because now you look like you're wearing a lot of gold. Uh, yeah. Uh... <laughs> These are my superstitions now. Yeah, yeah. Um... Mama needs some more superstitions. <laughs> 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 um... Honey, I'm feeling superstitions. <laughs> Jules, yeah, please. Yeah. I think they'll help. Tiffany superstitions. <laughs> Yes, no, I've, I've become a little less superstitious, but you got to keep some. Like, to, you know, when I toast with anything, I have to look in someone's eyes. I don't like it when you don't make eye contact on a toast. Really? Yeah, it's not good. How often do you toast? Are you a big drinker? I'm not a big drinker. You can toast with tea or whatever, too. I mean, yeah, no, that's, that's unlucky. Alcoholic. No, 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 it's unlucky to toast with tea. Oh, no, really? I just made it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see? You can't tell me these things because I'll take it in. It'll well, you know, go I've got, my big one is shoes I, on the I, table. I trust you. You, you. you mustn't do that because <laughs> I would lie to you. <laughs> you must know this. I would to get what I want. <laughs> no, I, uh, no, I wouldn't. Of course I wouldn't. Thank you. <laughs> You're making me laugh so hard that at this point I'm actually crying, which is, I don't think that's a good that's, sign. That's good. That's like turning, it's like when you drink yourself sober. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs>
You know, it's like you I just drank. come full circle. Yeah, it's like oh, yeah. I drank so much. Oh, I drank. Was you when people say I drank myself sober? Like, no, you didn't, you idiot. <laughs> You just, you just drank yourself into a completely different dimension. That's what you did. Yeah. You ever drink yourself sober? No, I never have. People, ah, yeah. I never <laughs> no. Yeah, no, I'm not a big drinker. No, it's more. Not my a, vice. Pot, yeah. pot, your thing? No. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like to know, chocolate. Oh, boy. That's, that's boring, yeah. but it's true. No, that's, I love a bit of chocolate. <laughs> hey. That's also, you know, it can send you in, in, into an altered state. Chocolate, good chocolate. Yeah, but I've never had so much chocolate. I woke up in a jail in Tijuana with a sore ass <laughs> and a tattoo. You know? there's, there's a difference. I mean, it's not like, ah, oh, chocolate. Ah. I don't know. That sounds like it could have been a pretty unique experience. Maybe you didn't want to miss that one. Yeah, well, I would have missed it because I would have been drunk. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, look, we're out of time. Quickly, uh, let's, uh, do we plug the movie? Yeah, it's probably awesome, right? It's really, it is okay, really good. amazing and uh, super uh, inspiring. Awkward pause, mouth organ, big cash prize. Um, I will do awkward pause. Oh, awkward pause. Uh, good. Because I did the it. mouth organ before, which is always fun, but we've done that. We've gone down that road. Have you started the awkward pause right now? Is this you starting it? I can't ever pause in anything. Oh, well, it's time I've... to pause now. Take your time. Slow down. Let's add a subtext in here. One of us has passed gas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna add a sound effect later when you did that. <laughs> The lovely Carla Gugino, everybody, Carla Gugino. It's like a mess on your stage. Well, a little bit, yeah. Yeah. It's a little bit. Hey, Carla. Hello. You look okay. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> You're great. I mean, great. Thanks. Really good. I really like your dress. It, I really appreciate it. Do that. you mind if I just touch a part of it? Yeah, you can. Look, look right here. That's right, yours, okay. right there. It's got, it's got a, it's, it's, it's very kind of... stretchy. <laughs> yeah. Stretchy. It is stretchy. It is. And, it, it is. And, it's, and it's stretched in some places, and in other it's, areas, it's, it's relaxing. <laughs> it's true. Well put. Yeah, no, it's uh, <laughs> uh, well put yourself. Uh, <laughs> You look, you look very, very well. Now, and, and look, my shoes and your tie match. That's a sign. I think so. Yeah, I'm not sure of what, but something. Oh, you know what. <laughs> I like your shoes. They're golden Thank you. shoes. They are. I uh, mean, did you uh, win them from a fairy? No, but I just, I, I, I just felt like it was the last night on, in your studio, and, all, and I needed to do something special. Well, I, I have to say, it's great that you're here, because you always light up the place with a, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> Thanks, I think. <laughs> so you always like up the place with your... Mm -hmm. Apparently, I have turned into Sling Blade for the last show in this You always light up the place with your... Mm -hmm. yeah. Political yeah. animals was tough to yeah. say, too. Well, yeah. it was. I, it it was hard to say political animals. <laughs> you may want to change the name for... of that show. I was in that show. I know. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. I, I've always wanted to act together. I mean, we get to do this, which is amazing. I'm not acting. Act I mean together. everything I say to you right now. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> but we were in the same show, but we didn't get to act together, which was no, really disappointing no. to me. Well, Though I, you were great and in your part and everything, but... Well, I played me on this show together. talking about... Um, I know. You know. Yeah, it's not... I know. It wasn't that big a stretch. It, it was really be like, good, though. If you had to play Just a hot saying. girl, oh, no, that's going to really be hard for you. <laughs> now, who do you play in this show? Um, I play a journalist, a Washington journalist. Well, right there, that see, that's a stretch, because I've met Washington journalists, it's... and they're hideous. <laughs> Well, you know, she's she's a, she's a smart cookie. She's definitely her moral compass is a little uh, questionable. At well, the moment, that's Washington, which, and, and, and yeah. that's easy for me to play. You know, so really, <laughs> <laughs> really, you have a dodgy moral compass. No, I have. What, what is your kryptonite? What is the thing that throws your moral compass off? That's cheesy snacks, <laughs> <laughs> chocolate. Chocolate. Speaking of which, I brought you cookies. I brought you cookies that are in, that are upstairs waiting, fresh baked cookies for your last Is that studio. Aww. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm Italian, I couldn't help it. I felt like... Is that, is it, it's actual cookies we're talking about. It's not code or anything. No, no, no. <laughs> no it's not like I brought you cookies. <laughs> 
No, they're just plain old delicious cookies. Well, that's great, because uh, if there's something I really am looking forward to, it's more... <laughs> I don't know. We started going down the moral compass road. I just felt like I yeah, did. No, you're quite it made right. me a little nervous. Do you do a lot of baking? Um, no, did you bake these cookies? I did not bake these cookies. I can bake a really good cookie, but I didn't bake these do cookies. Do you get personally. baked a lot? Do you do a lot of marijuana? <laughs> you're just going straight for all the... No. I no, don't. No, 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 no. I was raised in Northern California, so there was a period oh, that's, in, my, yeah. in my young life where I was more, the more inclined that way. Not anymore. No. Did you go to San Francisco a lot when you were there? That's Northern-ish. Uh, it is Northern-ish. Yeah, I lived in Big Sur. I lived in Paradise, oh, California. it's lovely up there, Big Sur. It you is know, It beautiful. looks like Scotland. But except, it does. Yeah, it does, really yeah, does. It's it like, like Scotland, except the people have all got big, shiny teeth. Yes, yeah. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That's how you know the difference. Like, oh, I'm in Scotland. No, you're not. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Kieran Hines and I were talking. Kieran Hines is amazing in political. Animals. Kieran Hines, the Irish actor. Yeah, he's fantastic. He, did you ever see him play Julius Caesar in the HBO thing? No, Rome? I did not see Rome, but I've seen him on stage a couple times, and he is oh, extraordinary. He's, he's crazy. Yeah, this guy. He is. Yeah, I mean, this what he's like. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have him out here. Well, <laughs> he plays the ex-president in this, and he has. And he was saying he was like, I have Irish teeth more than American teeth. Um, and we were having a whole teeth discussion. You, you do? No, he does. Oh, Karen. he does. Yes. I was going to say, your teeth no. are lovely. No, I, I am like... part Irish, but my teeth are more... Yeah, your teeth are Northern California. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it's a difficult... It's, it's a different type of character you would be asked to play. Yes. You know, if you had... You know, if your teeth weren't nice, Craggly. it'd be like, you know, they'd ask you to play Lady by the Guillotine or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Play you don't want to play Lady no. by the Guillotine. No. I mean, I want to, you know. You want to wear the gold shoes I, and the green dress and go, mm -hmm. <laughs> and you should. You're beautiful. Uh, I would get some craggly teeth for something, but not Lady by the Guillotine. Something more. I got some. Uh, we used to do some sketches out, and I played Prince Charles. I got some teeth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It makes you talk totally different, Tim. Yes, I talk like that exactly. all, the <laughs> all the time. Yes. I just suddenly started talking like this. Amazing. <laughs> That's nice. What else have you been up to apart from the political animals then? Um, I was uh, I was stuck in a hailstorm just last week in in New York. Who knew that in 97 degree weather it hails? Oh no, yeah, that's yeah, uh, well, it's the, I it's it was all a that cold thing. No, no, it's the it's the Mayan apocalypse. Oh well, yeah, the yeah. world is the world is ending. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, that is why. Well, I, I, do I don't think, think that. that's true though. Well, no, no, because also 2012 wasn't 2012 in their calendar. Right. That's also, the, the Mayans themselves, the Mayan cultural heritage people have said, we didn't say this. Why are you saying exactly. we say this? Because and they're people like, shut up, Mayans. We know better than you. <laughs> people want something to be afraid of. You know, right. it makes well, life exciting. Well, what are you afraid of then? Bananas? Um, no, I, I, I have no fear of bananas. Any, any uh, fruit or vegetable um, frighten you? Uh, no, no, no. I'm pretty good with my fruits and vegetables. Yeah, right. What does frighten you then? Spiders? Um... Spiders don't frighten me that much. Um, cockroaches. I don't like cockroaches. They move really fast, and they're very sort of like you don't know where. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a fan of cockroaches. Jockeys are the same. <laughs> they, they do move really. They fast. move very fast, <laughs> and you don't know what way they're gonna go. It's you know. true. It's yeah, true. I never all, thought of that. Yeah, sort of yeah, jockey. You gotta be careful. Yeah, yeah. If you got, if you, if I'm in a room and there's a jockey and a cockroach in that room, I'm like. <laughs> ah! <laughs> so there, did you go on vacation this year yet? Um, I did go on vacation, as a matter of fact. I went to a very fancy place, St. Bart, where I'd oh, never been. Oh, yes, that's in the Caribbean. Um, I've never yes. been there. Well, someone did warn me, though, nor had I, and they were like, it is going to be the scariest landing of your entire life. And I'm not afraid of flying at all. I've been right. flying since I was a kid, and I was like, oh, I'll be fine. <laughs> Cut to the scariest landing of my entire really? life. <laughs> Literally, it's like we we scaled the the highway. I'm not not kidding. Went over, went straight up, and then you nosedive. That's into, like I'm flying and then the you, plane. And then you end at the water, and you're lucky if you don't go into the water. And I said, has anyone gone to the water? Oh, they were like, oh yeah, of course. Many planes have gone into the water. So. <laughs> Basically, it Why didn't you go somewhere else? Go well, to Vegas I or mean, something. The, the Vegas airport's huge. I didn't and know. You can see it from miles away. I didn't know. I can't believe so many people go there and no one had told me that before. Well, I, I, did you have a nice time when you were there, though? I did. It was. It, it ended up being worth it. The first day, it was sort of shell shock. Like, this better be worth it. <laughs> or what? Just like, I just risked my life. Yeah. Um, did you get a, a bra made out of coconut shell? Um, <laughs> no. What? You Why got didn't it? I do that? You should do I that. You're a, a sexy woman. This is the time in your life when you get where to I do should it. get a bra made out of coconut shells. Bra made out of coconut shells. <laughs> coconut shells and a piece of string and, you know, and enjoy then you it. You use it while you got it, baby. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm going to think about that my next time. Oh, I think I'm about in, it all uh... the time. <laughs> When you walked out there, I was thinking, oh, um. coconut shell bra. <laughs> we have to take a break. Oh, uh, this is painful. I don't <laughs> want to take a break. <laughs> Must we? Well, we don't have to. We, can, we keep talking, but CBS get all tweaked right, out about right, commercials right. and stuff. Right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. I've never met this woman before in my life. I just showed up. Yep, she just I turned up in. in a coconut bra, no less. <laughs> so, uh, listen, you were saying you, you all but moved to New York. Then. Yeah. You're there a lot of the time. Yeah, mm. which has really been kind of crazy. Um, I thought, I, I have never, since I was 14, mm -hmm. I've always had a home in L.A. And I've always gone back and forth and traveled. But this is the first time I'm officially a New Yorker, so Do you, I'm like uh, visiting L.A. to see you. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Do you, you enjoy the smell of the pee-pee there? <laughs> There are a lot of smells there. Well, you do have to get used to that. It's a rich, aromatic feast, It really feast, is. Isn't it really it? is. Uh, I mean, especially, especially in the, in the summer. summer. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it gets oh, yeah. a little bit, whoa! Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it's, it's definitely, you know... Now, you like... know that all smell is particular, right? What? Well, all smell is particular, which means each smell that you smell, if right. you smell anything, for example, if you smelled something unpleasant, right. the, that means there are molecules of that, whatever substance is, are going in your nose. That's how it's detected. <laughs> That is disgusting. Yeah. That is information I so don't want to have. Well, you know, you're, you got it now. You like, can't unthink it. You know? that, that, you're right. Exactly. Yeah. So every time I smell some nasty smell, I'm going to think about it's what going you just in, told It's me. going inside your nose. Yeah. And, it, it's not right. and forming its own little thing. Oh, God. <laughs> like, so when you smell like something... I have like, a small nose. Maybe that's good. Maybe but not much can get in. Oh, enough. <laughs> 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 true that. <laughs> well put. Oh, true that. Yeah, yeah, true that word. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Uh, is that what we're doing? True that? Yeah, okay. Fine. Uh, that's about all I got, though. I'm, I mean, that. me uh, too, yeah. That's yeah. sort of, it's hard to go on from there. Yeah, I like your, uh, well, I guess we should call it bling. Uh, <laughs> here. The little bracelet? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's, it, I like it too. It's like little balls on your mm -hmm. wrist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I. I <laughs> There's a first for everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it when you're here. Yeah. And also, you know. Uh, well, uh, we're done. Uh, uh, have we, yeah, have we, have we hit our, our peak? Of... Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, I just keep asking for it. Um, yes, you do. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Do you want uh, an awkward pause or a mouth organ or a, a, um, a cash prize? Oh, cash prize. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I haven't Surprise done that. Surprise me. Who would have thought a beautiful actress would want a big cash prize? <laughs> <laughs> Time is it! Time for the big cash prize! For a while. No, I haven't done this for a while, so you have to remind me because I've done all the others. All right, 50 Americans. It's, it's easy. There's two ways to win. You can either answer a question oh, or you God. can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head. I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. So you try and guess what's in it. And then if you're right, Jeff will tell us. And if you're wrong, you have to uh, take all your clothes off. <laughs> Thank Not God I have my coconut yeah. bra. Um, Coconuts count as clothes. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, I, 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 I don't want to answer a question because I'll definitely not be able to. Oh, I, I think you'd do this pretty good. This is when I get... I, I, this is what I'm afraid of. If I asked a question on the spot, maybe I should do it. Let me confront my fears. Okay. okay. Here goes. Are right, you ready? Not really, but okay. let's try it. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. In a recent survey, what percentage of men said they wouldn't mind being stupid if they could have the perfect body? Was it C, 19%? <laughs> C, I think it's C. Is that correct? I think it's correct. Million degrees in here. Sorry, is that water? Yeah, yeah, it's oh. all right. Oh. Whoa, hey! I think you have to tone it back. Tone it down a little bit. I can't believe I'm saying this. Tone it down. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, 
in now. I'm cold. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, can you just grind your body against me for heat? Oh, oh, oh okay. Only. Only for heat. We'll be right back, everyone. What are you doing?